I have two gearboxes right here. This is a G&G, &G, and that's a S and T kind of slash Aries. So when you look at this. This is the one I did a video of. I'm not sure if it was a month ago or whatever. Uh, the bushings were brass. Um, one of the gears was stripped out, and I was going to uh, fix it up. So open this up. There's the gears, no shims. See the bushings? I believe these are SHS uh, eight millimeter, and they are in here solid. I hammered these in, and we can see 13 to one ratio gears. And as I rotate, this is without shims. Sounds like it moves fine. Once it has shims, it will sound better, of course, but this part of the video is about the bushings. So on this gearbox, we have a prop. Open this up. Now, in both of these, I did not glue the bushings down purposely. I always glue them down and JB weld them, but purposely I did not, just to show in this video, because I had this issue a long time ago. This is one of those bushings, I believe it's a Z CCI. It's got cuts in the center of the, the uh, axle area. And that uh, makes it more frictionless, so, uh, for the gears, axles right here. When I glued these one time, I believe it is these, in a, in a gearbox shell. I don't think it was 7mm, I think it was 8mm. These are just 7 that I found. Um, I glued them, put the gears in, started to shim them, and sure enough, I couldn't rotate the gears. They would lock up. I would just be like, okay, this makes no sense. I looked at all the bushings. They were flat. They were straight. So I came up to one conclusion. Something was wrong with the bushings. So I pulled the bushings out, and it really sucked. And then I remembered that every time I would go to install bushings, I do this check now. So, if I can get the bushings stuck to the shell, hammered in like this, then that's easy check. If I can't, I could glue them, but I feel that I don't want to have to deal with that. I just put shims real quickly. I put a .2, I add some shims on this. Uh, I put .4 on the bottom, .4 on the bottom of this, and then I just add shims on top until these literally stick into these uh, bushing holes. So, I put this on here. And they are pretty, uh, pretty close to being uh, dead on. Now, when I rotate here, you can probably see something wrong. So I'm gonna zoom up here. So this is how I know there's gonna be an issue if I was to glue these in, in place. Okay, so I'm gonna rotate. See what you notice. This is the bushing you're supposed to be looking at. It actually has this type of motion. It wobbles up and down. The other ones kind of spin just a little bit in place, but these, this one right here is the, is the issue. Okay, so maybe you don't believe me. Here's an easy check. Lift this open, pull this bushing off. I'm going to add a .2 on there, purposely pushing it against the shell. Put the bushing on, put the shell back on, and now if I move the gears, guess what will happen? probably don't notice it if I do this, but you probably notice it if I do this. It gets stuck. Well, maybe I'm holding down on this is what you're saying and I'm making it too tight in that area. Okay, okay. Then we'll do another test. And then I'll tell you what's going on, what's happening. 
because I don't like to leave a little question mark for the viewers out there. They want to know what I'm doing, how I can be helpful for them. So let's pull this off here. Oh, don't lose these. Okay, put the bushing back on. And see if we can show this on camera. Take a screwdriver right here. And as I rotate this, I'm just going to put some force pushing this way with the screwdriver. It already gets tight. So try to rotate the gear right there. It's very tight. I couldn't rotate the sector gear. Now, I'm going to try this test by pushing on a different bushing. Why does it work? And it doesn't work here. I'll try on the bottom bushing. Okay, right there. Now I'm going to demonstrate, or I already demonstrated. I'm going to tell you what's going on. Lift this off here. Because these bushings have free space to move. I mean, they literally pop right out. See? They have a little bit of space to move. They look like they work at the beginning. You can see, obviously, if I don't glue in these bushings, I shouldn't have too much of an issue. But if I glue in the bushings and I try to shim the gears, the gears will get stuck at some point when I rotate. So, what happens is, is you glue this bushing. You glue it in a position that the gear cannot rotate its axle. Uh, it seems like it's perfectly in a straight position, but it's actually just barely off of the axle. So, here for the spur, that may seem perfect to you, but when you glue it, you actually glue it like just barely like that much off axle, so off its center of axis. So as the gears rotate, they get caught. They can't go there. And sadly, even if let's say they did get solid in here, and you just still do this test, just like here, you rotate the gears, what you'll see is at some point the gears get stuck. They will rotate, but then they get caught. And that's because it is not actually centered in between the bushings. Um, another issue could be on top of the axle. Maybe it's not straight cut. But that's how I noticed an issue before I glue these in. So I know this is not going to work. And I wanted to show that because I thought it would be very helpful to you.